welcome one, welcome all. We are here on ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. It's not just sports, it's a way of life. And boy, do we have a big interview for all of you today. She got the golden ticket last week. You heard bits and pieces of not only her illustrious musical career here in the greater <laughs> Chicagoland area, but also on her time being interviewed on American Idol, ladies and gentlemen, Tinley Park slash Chicagoland's own Megan Wallman. Mel Megan, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's so wonderful to be here. It's cold outside, but I'm blushing listening to that <laughs> introduction there. <laughs> yeah, you know, we do what we can. We try to uh, make you feel awesome and welcome like that. So, Meg, first off, uh, joining us here on Chicago Land Sports Radio. Find us on Twitter at Chicago underscore land, hashtag idle, hashtag idle journey. Find Meg on Twitter at Megan L. Waltman, of course. The man that knows everybody and their brother and sister, Nick Gallo. Nick, uh, What's welcome, up? Megan. What's up? What's uh, up? We're excited to have her here today. I mean, for lack of a, a better term, you know, I've known you for a long time now, Meg, and you know, Nick just met you today, so you know, we're, we're fast yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, it, it's happening. It's starting now. Uh, first off, one thing we want to know: you went in 09. Yes. What happened from 09 to now that changed your mind and said, "Hey, this is something I, I'm, I'm going to try again"? What, what, what was that change from? five years more or less? Um, I mean, yeah, it's been about four years, so as as anybody can, can really testify to, a lot can change in, in four years mm -hmm. in anyone's life. Um, so I was 18 when I tried to audition. I had just um, finished high school. Um, I went to the I went through to the judges round, and it was Simon's last season when I had gone, um, and they were all really positive. They said that they wanted to see me again. They thought I needed a little bit more time. Um, so since then, I actually ended up working for Disney for a long time. I came back, finished up my degree. Um, I went back to Florida, lived there for about a year and a half. And for the first time in about 10 years, I hadn't sung at all. I didn't have any performances. Um, and that was, it really took a toll on me. I didn't realize how much I missed it. So about a year ago, I made the decision to move back to Chicago and uh, kind of start pursuing singing again. Mm -hmm. Um, and since then, everything just kind of fell into place. Um, and I happened to have a free day during the summer. I didn't plan to go on the audition. Um, and as Peter knows, my summers are usually crazy busy. I had five jobs um, this past she's summer. Not, she, she's, she's not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so there was a mix of I was supposed to sing the national anthem at something, and they thought I was busy. So they scheduled someone else. And I was like, you know what? They're in Detroit. It's not too far. Um, and our band got done at 2 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. and I drove straight to Detroit, signed up and registered at 6 o'clock, and waited at Ford Field until about 7 at night. So at the time of the audition, I was on about 30 hours straight, and I was exhausted, but it was worth it, obviously. I mean, it was awesome. So. Wow. So talk us through then. What did you sing in 09? What was your audition song? Um, I sang Fallen by Alicia Keys. And okay. ironically, at the time, Nick's gonna cry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Simon actually told me he's like, you know, I could see you as one of those little Disney girls, and so. So you I, made it that far. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, and it was ironic because then I ended up working for Disney, but. <laughs> yeah. Well, in '09, so you made it. Pa you were at Ford Field. Talk us through that. You, you walked in, you picked a song, you w right away went to talk to Simon? No, no, no. Okay. Ford Field was this, this audition. I lied. <laughs> and Sorry. then in 09, it was actually in Chicago. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So, um, so in 09, yeah, mm -hmm. I, did go, I did go to the judges round, which okay. I, anybody who's auditioned for this, anyone who's, who has auditioned mm -hmm. for the show knows that you do have to audition for the producers before yes. you can get to the mm -hmm. judges. Um, so just being able to audition for the judges mm -hmm. is really a feat in, it, in and of itself. So um, I was excited to have gotten that far, but sure. not getting that gold ticket was devastating to me at the time, especially, I mean, you're 18 and all your hopes and dreams are pinned on that moment and to have that not go your way is really yeah. just... And you were the V Show superstar. <laughs> so, knowing those type of things. Um, but again, we got Megan Waltman on the line here, hashtag idle, hashtag idle journey. Yeah, so uh, another question. Like, were you more nervous in 2009, or were you more nervous in, like, this past year, in 2013? Um, I was, I, th I would definitely say I was more, in, uh, more nervous in uh, 2009, um, just not having been through the process, mm -hmm. and having four judges, and having, I mean, the, the show has completely changed more than once mm -hmm. um, over the past four years, mm -hmm. so it was a little different this time, because 
Um, the judges then had told me to come back, but this was a completely new panel who had never seen me before, didn't know the critique I had gotten. Um, so it was it was very different. I, I think I was definitely more nervous for that, mm -hmm. um, but the experiences were just completely different. It's hard to really um, parallel the two of them. Okay. Singing influences. We talked about, we, we, you're laughing already. We know it's Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> we know it's Kelly Clarkson. That's and, and one of them. One of them. Probably the, the most influential one, but there are others. Who are the others? Um, I would say that I absolutely love Ariana Grande. Um, she's definitely really current and mm -hmm. has that like fresh Disney look, so mm -hmm. I love Ariana Grande. I love Adele. I love Carrie. Um, I love anybody who's like old school soul. Mm -hmm. So anyone who's Aretha or the, the um, even Temptations or um, a lot of Motown artists. So that's why when I was in Detroit, it was great because um, I can really, really identify with that music. I mean, I was 10 years old when I started, you know, making my first sets. Yeah. So uh, at the time, there wasn't a lot of like crossover country music, which people kind of said I had a country flair mm -hmm. at the time. Um, but I really, really was was really intrigued by mm -hmm. um, a lot of those soulful women like Mariah, Christina, um, Whitney, and then like I said, the old school Motown artists as well, which which ironically is where Kelly gets some of her influence, but um, I think that we were both influenced by those people, which is kind of why we have a similar sound. Mm -hmm. And plus she was the girl next door and oh, sure. I love I loved that when and I was ten years old, I mean <laughs> No, I mean and that really it, it separated it. When you had American Idol that was the first of its kind in terms of these vocal competitions. What, in your mind, Meg, separates Idol from a voice, from a America's Got Talent? What, what separates American Idol? Why did you choose that versus these other competitions? Um, I mean, obviously, Idol had a place in my heart because I watched Kelly, mm -hmm. um, and that's why I started singing. I mean, watching her perform really um, made me want to do this mm -hmm. and pursue it as a career. And Idol was the original. Idol was the first one that was able to take someone who was a waitress in Texas yeah. and make them a Grammy-selling, multi-platinum Billboard artist. And soon to be baby mama. <laughs> or, is it, or is she considered a baby mama now? Because she has baby brewing? How does that work, Nick? I don't no, think that that's how that works. Now, so yeah, if she's married, married she's not a baby yeah, she's mama. Baby she's mama. just a mama. Oh, just a <laughs> soon to be mama <laughs> of a baby. <laughs> No baby mama for okay. Kelly Clarkson <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Again, Megan Waltman online here, ChicagoLandSportsRadio.com.